it is soil dynamics. The soil dynamics is, is a multi-discipline of soil mechanics and the dynamics. It's a multi-discipline of soil mechanics and dynamics. And that means mainly uh, uh, is consist on the soil mechanics and the dynamics. Uh, and is a branch of soil mechanics. Uh, soil dynamics belong to soil mechanics. And soil mechanics is focused, uh, and the soil dynamics, uh, 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 soil dynamics is focused on deformations and the strength of soil and uh, dynamic laws. In nature and uh, the act, uh, activity of human, uh, uh, there's uh, some dynamic laws acting on the soil. Then the soil have some deformation. And this dynamic load will affect the strength of soil. Soil, uh, and not only soil, and also uh, the soil and the or surrounding some structures. This dynamic soil behavior will also affect the dynamic behavior of structure or the safety of structure. Then we must know the deformation and the strength behavior of soil and the dynamic load. Now let's see the task of soil dynamics. And uh, first is to study the deformation and the strength behaviors of, of soil and the dynamic loads. Uh, just now I say it's very important. Uh, this is the uh, first uh, uh, first task, uh, we have to know the behavior of the soil, uh, the, uh, of the soil and the dynamic laws. Uh. Then the second is to analyze the, the stabilities and the responses of earth structures and building foundations and the dynamic laws using modern mechanics principles. And uh, first the start, uh, task will already know the behavior of the soil and the, the dynamic laws. Then we can use these uh, principles or theory to solve the engineering questions, uh, include the earth structure, for example, embankment, dams, uh, or slope, uh, all these earth structures or building foundations. We know usually uh, all the buildings uh, of the world are uh, site on the earth. Uh, site on earth. Uh. Then the behavior of earth will affect the be dynamic behavior of this structure. Uh. When you want to know the dynamic behavior of structure, first you have to consider the soil, uh, the, the soil surrounding the building foundations. Uh, and we solve these uh, problem questions using some modern mechanics principles. Now let's see, in soil dynamic, there are some research contents. Uh, the first is the dynamic properties of soil. Uh, this is very important. It, the, properties of soil include some uh, physical properties and the mechanical behavior of soil. They all belong to the properties. And now these, these properties is and the dynamic load. Then we say, it, we, we call it dynamic properties of the soil. And then the next is dynamic stability of earth structure. This is very important. We have to know if the earth structure or buildings uh, will be stable and uh, the dynamic load. Uh, then this is the, the main research contents in soil dynamics. Uh, uh, and here we will know that because there's a 
the the old structure foundation site on a uh, site on or in the soil, then there's a, a, a soil structure interaction. And the features of dynamic load affects the response of soil, then it's important to describe the dynamic load in detail. And just the second part of this chapter, uh, we just talked about the, the, the uh, dynamic load. Uh, that's very important because just this dynamic load will cause the the, the uh, dynamic uh, uh, properties of soil. Uh, then we will know the dynamic load first. Uh. Now let's see the problems solved in soil mechanics. Uh. The first one is the features of dynamic load in engineering. Uh. And uh, this this part will de describe the, the dynamic load uh, in in some uh, in some in some methods uh, and uh, to uh, uh, to use this load in engineering convenient. The second is wave propagation in soil caused by dynamic load. This is just uh, chapter three. Uh, chapter three, we will talk, uh, we, we, we will know how the waves propagations in uh, propagate in the soil. Uh, then, uh, when we know in the fold, in the fold, there's a uh, 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 a heavy, strong motion due to the earthquake. Then, from the fold to the earth surface, where there's many buildings, we have to know when the earthquake wave transform to the foundations of buildings. How is the wave? Uh, The third part is dynamic stress strain relationship of soil. This is belong to the mechanical behavior of soil. In fact, this is we 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 call this relationship as constitutive relations or constitutive equations or constitutive theory. In engineering. Every materials we if we want to know the mechanical behavior of it, we must know the stress strain relationship of it. Then we know we applying the uh, load on it, we can know how much is the deformation. And this relationship depends on the physical properties of soil. Then we define it as a constitutive relationship. In soil, we also have to solve this relationship. Uh, but uh, in soil mechanics, uh, is uh, this constitutive relationship is not as good as other engineering materials, for example, the steel, the concrete. We know that the soil is uh, many, many soil particles. And this kind of materials is not easy to describe the uh, constitutive behavior or stress strain behavior or relationship. And uh, these questions is just uh, the most difficult, most difficult question, uh, most difficult questions in soil mechanics and in soil dynamics. Uh, you see, in soil mechanics, when we uh, learn soil mechanics, we divided the soil mechanics into some parts. Uh, first is the deformation, then is the strength of uh, soil, 
and the third one is the seepage ah、uh, in the soil, and in this three part ah、uh, the in this three big questions in soil, they don't have a, a real relationship ah.、Uh, that's just the reason is just that we don't have a a a. a Uh, a good stress-strain relationship in soil mechanics, but we also try to develop some new one or some uh better one ah、uh, to deal with the engineering questions in soil mechanics or soil dynamics. Four is the dynamic strains and the deformation. Let's see. Uh, for a struct、uh, earth structure, uh, for a、uh, a dam, for example, a dam, uh, in the earthquake, we have first we have predict how much is the deformation. For example, how much is the sediment, or how much is the horizontal deformations, uh, of this uh of these dams. Then we have to evaluate. Uh, it it is also valid or not. Is damage or not? Ah,、uh, this is the dynamic deformation or the strength. For example, a slope, a slope. Ah,、uh, uh, usually we have to evaluate the stability, the stability of this slope. Ah,、uh, and then, ah,、uh, in the earthquake, ah,、uh, we have to know ah、uh, the soil in the slope, the strength. Uh, how is the strength changing? Ah,、uh, during the dynamic load, perhaps the strength of soil will change. Ah,、uh, then we call it ah、uh, as dynamic strength. Ah,、uh, we have to know ah、uh, in dynamic load how how about the strength in the soil. And then we can determine that the earth structure is stable or not. The five is liquefaction of soil. We know that in earthquake sometimes the uh in some ground ah、uh, there's a liquefaction ah,、uh, and the liquefaction is very heavy damage in the earthquake in soil. And、uh, usually, liquefaction occurred in the saturated loose zone, but not too deep. Ah,、uh, the the deepest uh, uh, soil, uh, no more than twenty meters. Ah,、uh, and、uh, usually, the building foundations will set on the soil layer. But if the soil Ah,、uh, before earthquake is solid, is solid, ah,、uh, and can provide the、uh, burying capacity for the foundations. But during the earthquake, the solid, solid state soil liquefied, ah,、uh, tend to liquid, ah,、uh, then it it cannot provide any burying capacity for the foundations. Then will cause the the falling down of the structures, and we have to know the mechanic、uh, mechanism of liquefactions and the factors affect liquefactions and uh, uh, how to predict the liquefactions and the risk assessment and how to prevent liquefactions. Six, ah,、uh, the test of dynamic properties of soil. Ah,、uh, uh, you see, we will uh have some. We have some dynamic theory of the uh, uh soil. Ah,、uh, and we use this uh this theory to solve the dynamic questions of soil. Then, ah,、uh, we have to know some parameters. Which is used to de- describe the, the dynamic、uh, properties of soil. And these parameters coefficients we get in the bottom.